What's up, fam? And finally, we can talk about The Boys Season 2. If you're like me, you have been exciting and waiting for this all year. And we are finally at that point now that The Boys have finally returned. I'm so excited to talk about this. I have got to tell you all that's watching this that there's no spoilers involved here. Not for the season, not for individual episodes. Just a ton of assignments and notes to get you prepared for it. But yes, The Boys is returning September 4th on Amazon Prime Video exclusively. Now, let's talk a little bit about the history here with The Boys. Now, The Boys did release last year and they were already renewed for season two before season one had even debuted. And much like the success of that, they did it again this year. Because this year at their San Diego Comic Con panel, they were renewed for season three before season two had renewed. So this is exciting for people who are the boys fan. But ultimately, this is exciting for anybody looking for a new series. Because there's nothing like investing in something that may potentially get canceled before you can even get into it and you do not have to worry about that here because the boys is back and season two is amazing i can't wait for you all to see it uh but yes yeah, so it is returning september 4th and there is one really huge difference here upon season one and season two now season one released and it was able you were able to binge it all at once um season two you have to tune in each and every week because new episodes are being released weekly all the way through october 9th and this season does have eight episodes and you don't want to miss any of them because they're so uh, each, each episode just has it really takes it to the next level and they're just so good so exciting um so crazy so funny just so many words i can use here uh, but nonetheless you don't want to miss none of the episodes they it's this season two is amazing it doubles down from season one um and it just takes this adventure to the next level now if you have not seen the boys at all if you've never heard of this series and you somehow stumbled on this review well the boys is let me how let me break this down the boys is a fun and irrelevant take of what happens with superheroes who are as popular as celebrities influential as politicians and revered as guys who abuse their superpowers and rather use them for good so rather than rather than using them for good um so in other words imagine like a superman just was out here just you know heard somebody need to help he's like don't feel like it or you know didn't like somebody just decided to just kill them automatically Sure, that's Homelander, <laughs> by the way, who's the character of this show. Um, but yeah, so with that, you have this uh, this kind of a power struggle between the powerless against the powerful. As the boys, a group of people put together uh, because they all had their own differences with soups one way or another throughout their life. Well, they come together to continue on a heroic quest to expose the truth about the seven and vault. Now, the seven is seven is a team of seven soups together, and Vault is their managing company here. So that's really pretty much the premise of the boys. But season two, now let's talk about what's happening in season two. Now the boys are on the run from the law, haunted by soups, and desperately trying to regroup at and their fight against Vault. Meanwhile, Starlight, who is a member of the seven, is trying to navigate her way. Because she's playing both sides of the fence here. I mean, one, she's fearful for her life with Homelander. But also, two, she's trying to help the quest of the boys and her boyfriend, Huey. Um, and Homelander, on the other hand, he has, a set on, he has his sight set on taking complete control. Homelander, if you don't know by now, for me mentioning him a few times, Homelander is pretty much a dick. He just wants to just have complete control, everyone fears him, and he just wants to do whatever he wants to do. Nonetheless, his power is now threatened by newcomer Soup Stormfront, who's a social media savvy new Soup who has an agenda of her own. And on top of that, the supervillain threat takes the center stage and makes waves as Vault seeks to capitalize on the nation's paranoia. So, to kind of put this into layman's terms here, Soups are on the hunt for the super terrorist Super power super villain show so we say we're calling they call him a super terrorist he's a super villain whatever it may be and they're also looking for the boys meanwhile the boys are looking to end the production of compound v which compound v is a drug that 
gives humans superpowers here. Um, but with that being said, all of your favorites return from season one with addition to new cast members who really takes this season to the next level. Yeah, so everyone's back better than ever with more crazy, hilarious scenes and more mind-blowing, unforgettable moments here. Uh, because this is not your average superhero show. Uh, because there's just even more intense gore, blood splatter, and quite frankly, the people who do the uh, special effects and costume design, they do a tremendous job. Like, absolutely hats off to them. They, they really provide an a, a element to the show that if, if it lacked, it, can tru it would truly hurt it. But, like, especially how things go in this season, I mean, they step their game up because everything is taken to the next level. Uh, with that being said... Um, this show still has a really comedic tone with tons of laughs. You do not have to worry about that lacking in that department at all this entire season. Um, there are tons of pop culture references and Easter eggs. You can keep your eye out for that. Uh, alongside of that, there are um, some contemporary relevancy in the show as far as with politics, as far as with religion, and other societal things. But it is not a driving factor in it. Um, Mother's Milk wears a Black Lives Matter shirt, uh, which I think is really cool. But yes, this show does not explore um, really deep into those conventions. That overpowers the show from the really entertainment factor um, that, you know, that you really fell in love with the show from season one. So you don't have to worry about it with a hidden agenda or any of that sort. It's still very, very much fun. Um, I have to give a disclaimer that there's no organ safe on this series on season two which means that any potential limb or organ on somebody's body may explode at any time because it's just crazy yes but yeah it's it's again i can't i can't stress enough the special effects and, and costume makeup design people they just do an amazing job in making this gore really just like it, it, it jumps out at you and it just keeps you at the edge of your seat because you never know when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, how it's going to look. It's, it's, it's absolutely nuts. It, it is nuts. But let's talk about the newcomer, the new soup Stormfront. Well, we'll talk more in a second. But with Stormfront now being part of the seven, this really gives another angle to Homelander because Homelander is trying to be a dad. He's dealing with the hierarchy in the seven and he's still being a total dick but nonetheless this dude is never happy and he's always jealous and stormfront and her popularity is not happy ha not helping at all here so yeah imagine how much people hated uh or at least the viewers hated uh homelander season one and how his character was and his ego and all that other stuff just imagine it now with somebody that's actually driving this even more you have got to watch the two of them story art together this entire season because it just goes places you would just never think um with that being said a train is back with his really suspicious nature but also still with health issues i talked about starlock who's still playing both sides of the fence with being in the seven and trying to avoid homelander as well as helping the boys in their quest and then you have um <laughs> Then you have Stormfront, which I got to say, her storyline is just crazy. And how she is, uh, I can't tell you because that would be spoilers. You just have to stay tuned and watch what happens there. But there's so much, tons of cool action, amazing effects. There's even some Billy Joel here. Not to mention, there's this cool cameo up and down the board here. Including Chris Hansen and some other ones, which I won't spoil for you. And some well-known brands. So you definitely want to keep an eye out for that. I literally think I said in this show probably WTF over 20 times. Because there's just so much crazy that happens here. But yeah, I have to talk about the things that I really, really liked about this season. I really love the real world ties with their commercials and their promo videos that ran throughout the episodes. Um, Kimiko's storyline and how in-depth they went with her character was absolutely phenomenal. I easily my favorite character this season, without a doubt. Ashley, who's Homelander's assistant. Well, you're going to have to just kind of see how what happens with this character in Season 2. Because um, it gets uh, very odd, weird, 
Um, it, it, it takes you on a ton of emotions, to be honest. So you just have to stay tuned and see what happens with that. Yes, yeah, Stormfront, again, was one of my favorite characters in this season. Um, but you just have to kind of see what unfolds with with her and her hitting agenda. You have to see. It's 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 unlike anything else. But at the same time, yeah, you, you'll see. You'll see. I loved episode four because I love episode four for a couple of reasons. I love this car ride scene that they had, but I also loved how episode four really reset the tone because it's so necessary to have a type of episode like it did because the following episodes just get so much more crazier that it needed an episode that really reset things to prepare you for it. But uh, episode four was definitely one of my favorite episodes. But not to mention now, episode five and six is just, I don't even, I can't even believe they went there with with, with the, some of the things that happened in those episodes. And, uh, and specifically, episode six does have ties with the comic books as well. So you'll see some things there that you'll appreciate for all the comic book loyalists for this series um, that you will definitely like. Uh, as a as a it's a call to the comments, but nonetheless, even if you haven't seen the comments, some of the things that happen in five and six are just I just can't stress enough. Homelander talk about his demo rating. <laughs> it's it's so it's so Homelanderish to do something like that, but it was absolutely hilarious see, seeing him uh, talk about his approval ratings in the different demographics. So that guy um the soundtrack is good once again continue from the success of season one shall i say um but nonetheless you just gotta stay tuned each and every week because all the way even until the very bitter end of the finale it's an amazing ride with just so many crazy things happening that would just keep you at the edge of your seat rather from laughing or just the mind-blowing moments and just the complete chaos and craziness that this season takes you on. The Boys Season 2 is phenomenal. I love this season. I cannot wait to hear what you all think after you see it. Again, it will be available September 4th, but you have to watch each and every week as new episodes are, re- are released weekly. And you do not want to miss because it's an amazing series. But as always, folks, thank you for watching my review. And I'll catch you very soon for another one. <laughs>